Okay, what's up guys? This is a plugin tutorial on Multiverse Core. And this plugin allows you to have as many worlds as you want, different kinds of worlds, creative, survival, whatever you want. So the first thing you want to do is download the actual plugin. Okay, then drag this into your plugins folder of your server. Then you want to restart your server, of course. After it's done, go ahead and go into your server. Okay, and for multiverse core, the main command is slash mv. This brings up a help screen. You can go through it if you want to. But to create a world, you do slash mv create, and this will show that you can name the world whatever you want. You can have a type of world between normal, nether, and end, and you can also have a generator for the world, which would be dash t flat, and that gives you a flatland. So we'll go ahead and have a flatland world for creative players. So slash mv create the name of the world, I'll name it creative world. And I don't want it nether or end, so I'm gonna put normal dash t flat to make it a flatland. It says starting creation of world, creative world. To go to that world, you want to do slash mvtp and type in the name of the world. And as you can see, it's a flatland. Of course, there's slimes running around, which I don't think creative players will like. So, to change that, you want to do slash MVM, which will modify the world. Slash MV modify set. And this allows you to change the mode to creative or survival. If you want to set animals to true or false, if you want to set monsters to true or false. So like I said, I don't want monsters on the creative world, so I'm going to change it, slash MV, M, set, monsters, oops, monsters, false. It says property monsters was set to false, and all the slimes went away. And just for the heck of it, I don't think I want animals either. So I'm going to do slash MV, M, set, animals, false. Alright, last thing, I want creative on this world, so I'm going to type in slash MVM set mode to creative. There we go. And that's basically it. Okay, to set the spawn of the world, you want to type in slash MV set spawn. Alright, this will be a little spawn indicator. So I'm going to fly away. And if you're in a different world than your normal default world, then you have to type in slash mv spawn. So see, it spawned me in this little dirt piece of crap here. And that's it for setting spawns. Okay, now it will be importing a downloaded map. So let's say I just download this map and I want to know how to use it with Multiverse Core. Well, it is very easy. Just go ahead and drag it into your server root, the root of your server folder, and see it'll drop down right here. And for this example, I'm using the Survival Games 2, which is a Hunger Games map that I'll also have a tutorial for a plugin on the plugin name is survival games and you should check that tutorial out with this link to the side and anyways alright go back into your server 
Okay, so like I said, I just downloaded this map and I wanted to put it into my server. You want to do slash mv import and I'll also show you what to do with the um see for slash mv import or if you tp to the world you can't tp to the world if it has spaces in them but I'll show you what to do you can do slash mv import and you have to put quotes the survival games to in oh and close the quotes and then type in normal to import the world as a normal type of world it says starting import of world complete do slash mv tp quote the sir bible games to close the quote and see here's a little hunger games map and that's about it. Alright, so with this plugin, you can do a lot of things, obviously. And if you guys don't know how to set up the worlds and link them with portals, so let's say you have a spawn and you want a little portal room where you can access all these worlds without the players having to ask you what command to type in, you can just link them with portals. And that will be in the next tutorial. So you should watch that. Alright, thanks guys.